Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. I've got a big story. Uh, I'm gonna link it below, but essentially a bank has just came out and warned uh, to thousands of customers that payments may quote unquote disappear. And this is a shot across the bow. This is where they are starting to warn you more and more how unstable this banking system is, not only you know because of the amount of debt they've racked up and loaned out, derivatives that they put out, right? But also their actual payment processing systems. Now, if you bought a house recently, you've probably been just blasted, especially if you're in California, with tons of disclosures when it comes to your uh, the risk involved with wire, tra wire frauds, right? And that there are lots of scammers. Like, I'll give you an example. You see all the scammers down in the comment section below. I don't have a WhatsApp account. I will never, the Economic Ninja will never contact you to try and get you to my WhatsApp layer account and try and take money from you. I don't need your money. As a matter of fact, you got YouTubers out there that on the first line of their darn descriptions are saying, donate to my account, please help me. I give you everything I can for free. I have affiliate links. This I'm totally digressing, but it's very important people hear this because um, I don't want to put it in every video, but every once in a while I got to remind people, there are people that want to steal from you and you need to have street smarts. And one of those things, don't go to WhatsApp. It's, it's full of scammers. Those bots, uh, the channel has gotten so big. It's such a blessing. Even have, I've been uh, given a uh, assistant from Google to be able to help me with things. And the first thing I asked the assistant was, how do we get rid of these bots? And they did not have a good answer for me. I don't get it, I don't understand it, I apologize. But we're gonna get into this story about the um, uh, the sun. Hey, if you think that YouTube should do something about these bots, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And that'll show them, because all of a sudden the algo will wake up and they'll go, why does everybody like this video? Well, maybe because he talked about, we need to get rid of those scamming bots, all right? But going back to real estate, you've been, uh, you know, if you bought a house recently, there's all these wire fraud alert documents that you have to sign over and over again. It's actually pretty impressive. And, and it's because so many people, you know, I'm a licensed real estate agent in California. I'm not using my license. Actually, I'm a horrible real estate agent, to be honest with you, because I just can't sell you a house and a dream and a lie saying that it's going to keep going up. Quite frankly, that's why I'm a horrible real estate agent. I'm a great salesman. <laughs> I'm good at that. But, um, because I only sell things that I appreciate, that I enjoy, that I think are gonna benefit myself and other human beings, right? That's what makes a good real uh, salesman. But I can't con, all right? And there's so many cons out there and there's so many people who wanna steal your money. Well, this bank right here has said um, to warn people, hey, you could literally lose your money and I'm gonna give an example. Again, I'm gonna link it below, but we're gonna go over this. Thousands of bank customers could risk money disappearing when making a transfer to a new bank account. It says some Chase account holders have had their attempts to move money fail. Banking customers have been left in limbo when moving money. It says in at least two different cases, Chase customers have been left unable to access their cash. And I want you to stick around in this video. This is very important. I'm gonna have, I, I, if I can remember, I've got some examples. It says one customer was left with at their wits end after trying to move inheritance money to a Chase account, which offers a competitive rate of 1.5%. Now the sad thing is that's actually a really high interest rate. The, 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 the even sadder thing is it does you nothing to keep up with the rate of inflation. That is just absolutely mind-blowing. Guys, remember a healthy economy is an economy where your uh, interest rate that is given to you is at or a little above the real rate of inflation. That is where it encourages savers to save money and it builds a wealth uh, effect in the country and it, it actually causes a country or an economy to prosper, all right? We are nowhere near that right now, but don't worry, it's about to rip up higher because it's always going to revert to its mean, but then way past. Sorry, it's a whole nother video. It says here, the payment was made by CHAMPS, Clearinghouse Automated Payment System. That's a, an acronym, CHAMPS. <laughs> Good job, CHAMPS, you're crushing it. A common method of making transfers between banks when large sums are involved. But Chase does not accept CHAMPS. Payment and money was left in limbo. So the payments and money were left in limbo. The customer was not able to access the cash in either the Chase or original account for days. Meanwhile, another customer tried to pay in premium bond winnings to his Chase account, but National Savings and Investments, or NS&I, 
which runs the prize draw, was unable to verify the account with the third-party credit agency it uses. That's because Chase is new in the UK and hasn't started landing or lending yet. The point being is this. Even in this world, we have payment systems that seem to be coming online so fast because technology is moving so fast. And I'll give you an example. You know, it's one thing to use Swift uh, to, uh, to facilitate bank to bank transfers or um, uh, banking transfers across the US, right? Or I'm sorry, around the world, right? You've got domestic and international wires. It's another thing to see all of these online payment systems. At first it was PayPal, they were the big ones on the block. But then you started to see tons of other ones. Um, I'm completely blanking out. It uh, starts with S, Swipe, and all these other accounts, Vimeo, these third party, uh, not only uh, transfer, uh, money transfer systems, sometimes lending agencies, right? Uh, they're essentially money brokers. There's so many different systems that they use and so many different lines of code that they use, they do not even talk well together. And people are losing money. And in a day and age where people are needing access to their money so badly, these are things that you need to realize and you need to work out ahead of time. Um, one suggestion I, give, I wanna give you is anytime I open up a new bank account or a new uh, payment processing account, I always do a few very small transactions, very small. I want to see how fast they move. And in my businesses, I've got lots. I would say at this point, I've probably got over 25, if I had to guess right now, different payment systems that I use to accept money, to pay money, um, you know, different accounts, you know, uh, between stock brokerages, gold brokerages, um, uh, my real estate stuff, not so much that I'm, I'm pretty slow on real estate right now, actually, because you guys know how I feel about real estate, but um, the cryptocurrencies, things like that. I always do a few small transactions. You don't wait until the big one. Now, in this scenario, if this person that was trying to move money would have moved $100, and I don't care how much the wire fee is, even if it's 100 bucks, you would have saved yourself a lot of hurt. And that is just common sense thinking. We've got to think common sense wise. Why? Because the rest of the world, they don't got so much common sense. You know the old saying, common sense ain't so common anymore. And it's true. And so the cool thing is, this is what's really neat. When you have common sense, like, oh, and just by the way, if you're still on this video and you don't like common sense and you don't want to understand why the markets are crashing and how to take advantage of it, definitely do not subscribe. This is not the channel for you. It might just scare you. There are videos of cats somewhere. But the point being is that when you understand this, that you're one of the only people with common sense and that's why you're still listen to this video and do me a favor, hashtag common sense in the, in the video. Let's me know you're still here um, in the comment section. But if you guys think for a second that um, uh, you're alone, you're not, but you are a small majority. And the great news is you're not gonna have a lot of uh, competition when it goes to buying up everyone's assets when they're losing them because they didn't use common sense. So guys, it's a great story. I'm gonna link it below. Um, I think it's a very good warning about getting uh, more control over how your money is held in a bank account and then how you transfer from one account to another. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out. Wait, remote control airplane? Oh, you missed me. Economic Ninja is out. Double snap.